When I was at the supermarket the other day, a couple things really caught my attention. So much so that I really wanted to get back there today just to pick them up. Now, I've got a couple of friends who are coming over a little bit later, and I want to cook them a couple of really special items. Follow me. excited to show my friends a few of the items that my father showed me many many years ago when he was teaching me how to cook in the Middle East. Now the first item I'm going to show you guys is called Ful Madamas or otherwise known as Ful. Now it's just a mash of fava beans with some herbs and spices. We're also going to be doing an Egyptian bread pudding called Om Ali. Now the bread pudding they do in Egypt they make with filo though. So let's get going. First we're going to get ourselves a little filo pastry dough. Now what we want to do but if you're bringing it right out of the freezer, we want to go ahead and let them thaw out for about five or ten minutes. Now that we've rolled out our dough, we really want to take about 12 to 15 sheets and we want to go ahead and lay them out onto a couple of sheet pans. What we're going to do is Put these in the oven at 325 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they get lightly brown and really crisp. Now the traditional recipe calls for a half cup each of almonds, hazelnuts, and pistachios. And you're welcome to use any sort of mixed nuts that you've got available. Uh, while I was at the grocery the other day, I actually just saw a bag of mixed nuts and I'm going to go ahead and give those a quick rough chop. Let's get the chop. Take our custard and just 
or right over the top. Now don't worry if your custard hasn't gotten too thick just yet. It'll definitely thicken up when it's baking in the oven. And we're pretty much done. This is going to go into a, an oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And it's going to come out piping hot. And what you're going to want to do is just serve it with a little heavy whipped cream uh, or even milk. So now we're going to prepare fool madamas, or otherwise known as fool. Now, fool is in fact a quintessential Egyptian breakfast. It's really just a fava bean mash that's been spiced up and served with some warm pita bread, feta cheese, or any other goat's milk cheese and some fresh vegetables. But my father, he did something a little bit different. He turned it into a really special dip. When you've tried this full bean dip, I swear you're never going to want to have hummus again. Now for this recipe, you can use two of the 15 ounce cans or one of the larger 28 ounce cans, which is what I have here. I'm going to go ahead and just strain out all the brine and the, the liquid that was in with the fava beans and do a quick rinse with cold water and then strain it again. Then we're going to get these fava beans cooking. We're going to put one handful of water, fresh water, in with the beans and put them on medium high heat. We're going to take a few cloves of fresh garlic. All right, let's go ahead and get our garlic ready. And until I have one readily available, I'm just going to use a quick garlic press. We're going to press all these into a bowl.
And once you've got your dip to about the consistency and the texture that you like, now is when you want to go ahead and give it one final taste test. Mmm, that's perfect. That's perfect. And then some finishing touches. Of course, the other half of the olive oil, you're just going to pour over the top as it gets a little sheen and glaze. I serve it with some fresh lemon. So I have to squeeze a little lemon on the side. Uh -oh. Also fresh pita bread. Because we like to break bread in the Middle East, we're not going to leave it all cut up into slices. We're just going to dive right in. Hmm, that's perfect. Let's get started. Okay. I think I heard the oven. I'm going to go ahead and get the bread put in. Now the oven is on the right Keep eating. That is our Egyptian bread pudding. Wow. Well, this wraps up our first episode of Cook Life in Egyptian. You had a chance to see how we make full madamas and, of course, the old Malier Egyptian bread pudding. I hope at least we piqued your interest in Middle Eastern food and we'll give it a chance to go out and try some somewhere, or even better yet, try cooking some at home. I'm Rashid Rafai, welcoming you back the next time you look like an Egyptian.